Hey, what's up, guys? It's Daydream. Something a little new today. I'm going to do a review of mouse skates for the Logitech G Pro Wireless. In my opinion, it's the best mouse I've ever used. I think it's better than the Ultralight Phantom, you know, the Ninja Air 58 or whatever the hell that thing is called from Final Mouse because it has no, it has no mouse pad. Like, I can use this damn thing on my wall. I can use my whole mouse pad. It, it's just great not having... I, can, I, I can't imagine myself going back to you know, um, using a mouse with a wire on it. And I've got a mouse bungee. I've got uh, the Zowie Kamad. I got like everything to make a, you know, wire controlled and stuff. But once you have a wireless mouse, you, you won't want to go back. And you know, this thing's really, it's ambidextrous, ambidextrous. You can set up the buttons on the sides. But this video isn't about the G Pro wireless itself. It's about the mouse feet. Right now I have the Hotline Games on it and they are from Asia. I believe it's from Hong Kong. Yeah, they're from Hong Kong. And they take about two and a half weeks to get here. So I ordered these and they came in about a week. These are the core pads and they're from, I believe, Europe somewhere like Denmark or Finland or some shit. And here's what it comes with. The core pads just come with an instruction manual on how to get, how to use it. The Hotline Games comes with two of these little things to clean it with, the alcohol strips and a little thing to wipe it dry with. Core pads doesn't come with any of that. Another thing, there's a price discrepancy. The core pads are, I believe, $11 US dollars, somewhere around there. I think it's like, actually, you know what? They're they're listed wrong on eBay. If you go to their website, I think I paid eight bucks for them, like six pounds or something. It's like eight bucks, eight to 10 bucks, whatever. They're a little bit more expensive than the Hotline Games, the ones that come from Hong Kong. Here's the problem that I have with the Hotline Games ones is you're gonna wait like two weeks at least, minimum two weeks. Core pads, I waited one week for. Now, I've been using the Hotline Games for two weeks, so I can tell you I like them, but I feel like they move a little too fast. They're a little bit too slick. If you like that kind of shit, you'll really like these. I, I noticed a lot of Fortnite players use the Corsair mouse pad, the, the real slick one. I think with that mouse pad in this, it'd be way too slick. I got the Steel Series, um, you know, the one everybody uses, the nice one, the big one. And, um, you know, it helps control it a little bit, but it's really slick. The core pad feels like it's not quite, you know, it's still, it, it moves smoother than the traditional feet that come with the mouse, I guess the stock feet, but it's not as slippery as the ones from Hong Kong, the hotline games. So, you know, when I was buying these, I was looking for videos and, you know, I didn't find any comparison videos. So I was like, fuck it, I'll do a comparison video. So that way people have a little bit of information. I mean, it's only 10 bucks on a $150 mouse. So it's not that damn big of a deal, but you know, everybody likes to save some money. And if you're waiting two weeks for these damn things, you want to get the right one. So if you like really fast, you know, movement and stuff on your mouse, um, go with this one, the Hotline Games, the one out of Hong Kong, you can get them on eBay. That's where I got them. Or you get the core pads and go straight to the core pad site. They're from Europe and you can get them in about a week. And I think that's what I'm gonna switch to because it has a little more control. But if you do get those, go to Walmart, get some of these alcohol pads to clean off the residue from your stock feet. One thing about them too, they each come with two sets. So the you know the core pads come with two sets, and then the Hotline Games come with two sets. But I already used one set, so I'm gonna switch to the um, core pads. I'm gonna use them for the night, play you know a few hours of Fortnite or something maybe a little bit of rust. And then when I get off, I'll leave in the comments, you know, you know how it felt, you know. I know you're like, fuck, why can't you do it and edit it? And listen, man, I'm not gonna do a bunch of editing for a video that only gets 50 views. So if this video does well and there's people that are looking for, you know, feet for their G Pro wireless, then I, you know, in the next one, I'll edit shit up. But, uh, you know, I could do a review on the Ducky one two mini it's a keyboard that doesn't have the um arrow keys or the um 10 keys on the side it's a 60 percent keyboard and i love it it doesn't have the function keys either you have to use the uh, well you have to use the function key it doesn't have like f1 through f10 or whatever the hell those things are but you know it gives me more room to use my mouse and uh you know with the wireless mouse sometimes you really get into it and you can do like them double 360s on you know 400 dpi because you got all this mouse space and you can move it wherever the hell you want. You can move it on the wall. You can do whatever you want with it. So yeah, guys, that's a quick little review. Thank you so much. If you could leave a like, let me know some feedback on it. And yeah, if you have any questions about either of these mouse feet or the G Pro Wireless or anything else, holler at me in the comment section and I'll answer some questions. Peace.